friends. Okay, it is Big Mama. And it is Monday. Monday, Monday. I know, y'all are singing with me now, aren't you? You won't be able to get that song out of your head the rest of the day. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, today finds us kind of with all the things. And all I did was walk from there to here. Yeah, I gotta get that chest. <laughs> Um, whew. me and that man went swimming yesterday afternoon we had to we had to it was Hades hot you know what I'm saying um, thank y'all for all your comments about different areas where you live yeah that'd be a thing comment where you live and what your temperature is like today and then the heat index. I'm curious. I'm curious. I know. Um, from Oklahoma. Um, oh, Denise. And you'll have to, yeah, I was going to say, you'll have to tell me how to pronounce your name. <laughs> it's like auditory, not. <laughs> Anywho. Um, oh, my goodness. We do need to figure out how to set up a Zoom meeting. That would be amazing um yeah that would be so much fun and we are over 600 subscribers i was about to say prescribers <laughs> subscribers yay and like well i made the comment to one of you that had mentioned that y'all had missed me and you were getting concerned i want to say it was joan um excuse me if i get the names wrong i know who i'm talking about but it just, yeah. I know who I'm talking about. It just kind of comes out different. Um, but yes, yes, thank you. Yeah, I've, I've had some setbacks. But it's okay. It's going to be okay. That's what I keep telling myself. It's going to be okay. <laughs> um, we can deal with them, I think. Yeah, we can. We can. I'm not even going to hesitate. We can. We can deal with them. Um, I think a lot of it, I would feel better if I could get, um, the excess fluid off. I think that's what's making me out of breath. Just kind of feeling like, bleh. <laughs> do, you, do you have to feel bleh? <laughs> I feel bleh. <laughs> Anywho, today finds us, like I said, with all the things, um, I've kind of done part of my AM routine. But I haven't finished my AM routine, and I have been up, yeah, a freckle past to her. I'm looking at my arm for a watch, and I don't have my watch up. I'm trying to charge it. It is now 7.30. I've been up for almost two hours. I have finally gotten dressed. Woohoo! Yeah, if you saw, I got catheters in my lap. I've got to stick them in my bag. Yeah, don't get jealous. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, I've gotten dressed. I've done all my meds. That's part of one reason why I kind of drag with my morning. First thing, right when I get up, I go ahead and take my thyroid medicine. You have to take it kind of like on an empty stomach, and you aren't supposed to take it with coffee. I take it with coffee. Shh. Um... Coffee's made out of water. <laughs> oh. Um. But yeah, I have to wait like 30 minutes to an hour. It's supposed to wait an hour. Um, before I can take any of my other meds. And so, I kind of sit here and I'll do my bubble time. And I'll check emails. Um. Yeah. Kind of look at my planner. Figure out my day. I'm supposed to do my exercise during that time. I need to. <clears throat> I've got to start back walking, but shoot, it's so hot now, I'd have to get walking at 4 o'clock in the morning. You step your head out that door at 7.30 in the morning, you're going to wind up coming back in two minutes later, sticky and sweaty as all get out. I kid you not. Um, yeah, yeah, it's that sticky hot, um, that take the breath away hot. 
My grandmother would always call it, you felt like you had a wet wool blanket thrown over your head. And that's what you felt like. Like, for real. Anywho, where am I going with this? Sweet land of living. We can call this a crazy day. <clears throat> Mondays are usually my... What? <laughs> it's usually my catch-up from the weekend day, pick-up day. Um, just kind of be careful with, like I said, she's got early morning therapy. we got to be there at 10, so we'll leave here about 9.15-ish. Shouldn't have traffic. Um, you never know with the I-85. There's usually a wreck. Yeah. Anywho. Um, and the more I talk, the warmer I lips get that filmy stuff filmy stuff on them I don't know what it is yeah. if any of y'all are MD you know let me know <laughs> okay so I gotta get up I need to eat some breakfast because I took all my meds and my vitamins and got supposed to take them on a full stomach or with a meal so I think I'm gonna do me some yogurt and granola I not had that in a while and, uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, hey, Heinz. It is still, it's Monday afternoon. I know it don't look like it. It looks like it's dark, don't it? It's because we have this. Now, all of you that are in drought situations, I am so sorry. Yeah, but there's my pool, and here's the rain yet again. Our swimming has been postponed yet again we uh, cannot go near that every day we have rain now I like I said I am so sorry to those of y'all in drought areas yes I'm praying for y'all to get rain please take some of ours you can have it if there was some way that big mama could get it up from here and give it to y'all I would I <laughs> Anywho, got home this afternoon. Our neighbor brought Carol Beth home from art. That was wonderful. Uh, that way, me and Becca didn't have to sit there and wait on her. Um, it was good to see everybody from there, though. That was my first time being there in over a year. In over a year. Because last year, they didn't have art due to COVID. So, yeah. And it's my first time ever taking her back since before that. So it was good to see everybody. Um, but tonight, thunder. Tonight, tonight for supper, I'm doing the honey mustard pork chops. And I will leave a link. My sister turned me on to, I used to get on Southern Savers all the time and do the Publix coupon thing. I was a couponer back in the day. I have not done that in years. I mean, years. Once they cut, like, doubling coupons out, wasn't worth my time no more, you know, mine. Um, it's easiest just for me just to go on to Aldi, I'm just saying. But anyhow, there are, are other things on that site more than just couponing. Um, there's a menu section. There's a frugal living. You click on that link, and you go on down to menu plan. And it will give you, like, this week's menu plan using Publix. Or this week's menu plan using Kroger. Um, they used to do an Aldi's, but they do not. Um, not for the menu plan, anyway. Um, anywho. She said, get on, look at June's menu for the menu plan. You scroll on down, and it will have the monthly menu plan. And she showed me the side about jeans. In fact, she gave me a printout of jeans. And so, and it, it, like she said, of usually if you know, oh, I got hamburger meat in their freezer. I'll do tacos or spaghetti. Which one? Or just baked pork chops. Or you, you get in that rut. You normally think those normal things. And so this kind of gives you a little bit different inspiration, maybe. And if you want to tweak it or move things around one night, I know two nights this week they had like a uh, stuffed shell recipe 
which I'm just going to do. I've got pros and ravioli, so we're going to do that that night. Okay? Um, use what you got. If you can, don't have it, you can sub it in. Um, but the next night, they had chicken parm. And I'm like, wait a minute now. That's two, like, spaghetti pasta things right there together. So, yeah, no. So, we're going to do the ravioli. And then I forgot what I put down. Oh, um... One night we're doing meatball subs. Instead of meatball subs, we're going to do stroganoff subs. Um, because I know my crew, not subs. Stroganoff meatballs over mashed potatoes. I'll do that one. I'm getting confused. It's been a long day. I fell up the stairs taking care of the art today. Brick steps. Hurt my knee. The girls panicked. Becca was like, Mama! <laughs> I'm okay now. I'm good. Um, my kitchen's a wreck, but that's okay. I'm waiting on my pan to get hot. Anywho, all that being said, tonight we're having honey deep mustard pork chops. Um, and I will leave the recipe down below. Basically, you just take your chops, and we're going to put them in the skillet, and let them get brown. My oven's preheated, but we're just going it said to take and pat these dry. Like I said, I'll leave the recipe link down below and the menu site I'll leave linked down below. Technically this pan could have gotten a little bit longer. And I'm debating about doing Well, I guess I'll go ahead and do all of them. These are more like pork steaks than pork chops. If you ever seen one like that, it's what we call down here pork steak. Because you got that extra piece running right there. Alright. So, I just want them in here. We're just going to brown on both sides. That's our goal, is just to brown these up. I still got two more in the pan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the sauce. Um, it is two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of honey, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, Paprika. It says smoked paprika. I've got paprika. Come on now. Um, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. A fourth of a teaspoon of cracked pepper, which I put salt and pepper on my chops. Frying it and cooking oil. Browning it and cooking oil. Da, 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 da. Alright, so you mix all your sauce ingredients up and then you're going to pour it over once you get your pork chops in the casserole pan. You're going to drizzle this over the chops and then you're going to bake it for 30 minutes. So, let me get the sauce mixed up by that time. Hopefully these will be brown and I'll be back. Alright, to go with our pork chops tonight, um, like I said, I'm doing the honey mustard pork chops. I am doing wild rice, just rice arani, wild rice, and then some honey butter glazed carrots. Like um, Cracker Barrel. Fat Man loves Cracker Barrel carrots. Yes, and they are they are wonderful. So that was one reason why I picked up. Don't you, Fat Man? Oh, you're Care Beth. Hey, Care Beth. Can you talk about hey? Hey. Um, they want to see your paintings. So I've got them out. Do you remember where I put them? Yeah. Okay. Well, not right now. But yeah, later. Later, mm -hmm. remind me. Um, can you unload the dishwasher for me, please? She is my unloader because she is awesome at it. You're awesome at it, Carol Beth. Mm -hmm. I don't trust some other heathens with my stuff. Okay, here are my pork chops. I'm fixing to get in the oven. Yes, they're still kind of, but they're browned. And they're going to finish cooking in the oven. So just smear that sauce all over them. 
I still have two of the pork steaks left. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and just cook them up. I'm just going to kind of braise them. Um, and that way, if anybody wants, like, extra meat, or if that man wants to take one to work, but, yeah, that's pork steak. So those are pretty good pork chops. That was nice. That's nice. Hi, get rid of You hear that sizzle? Just a sizzle. Okay, hey, Heinz. My pork chops are done, I'm thinking. So this is what they look like done. Don't they look good? I'm hoping that sauce is good. Right, right, if it's not. Um, these are my braised ones. They're coming along nicely. I did add some more water. Um, these are the carrots. It's basically once they get done and we're to glaze them, it's just a. I did a half a stick of butter. And then I just. Honey to kind of guess. I would say maybe a third of a cup. Yeah, about a third of a cup of honey, if that much. And just kind of let them just keep cooking until all that liquid is gone. And the carrots are going to wind up being sticky. That's that sugar stuck to them. So, my timer is fixing to go off. And then there's my wild rice. So, and the eyes got steamed. <laughs> so, that's supper. Yeah. I'll let y'all know how good this pork chops are. Okay. I'm finally sitting down. Oh, got the kitchen cleaned up. Supper was delicious. The pork chops were a hit. So, like I said, I will leave that recipe linked down below. I got it here to remind me. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... Well, I have Carol Beth. That's what we'll do tomorrow. Carol Beth will do an art show. How about that? We'll get her paintings and we'll line them up maybe here on the couch or something. And she can do an art show for y'all. I know she'd find that a tree and y'all want to see her work. So there you go. Art show it is. Until then, bye, horns. Don't need bail money. But if you do, make sure Big Mama's involved. <laughs> Bye, y'all.